one of our goals here at The Scathing Atheist is to make sure that we leave you with something each week that stays with you after the show's over. Sometimes that can be a joke that still makes you giggle hours later. Sometimes it can be a thought that you're still chewing on days later. But when we have Anna on, you can bet it'll be a song so damn catchy you'd need a regimen of dewormer to get it out of your head. So without further ado, Anna, welcome back to the show. Hey! So tell us, what song are we going to be breaking down today? Oh, buckle in, boys. There's a visual aid for this one. This train, written by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee, what? Sister Rosetta Thorpe. Really? Yep. Covered and edited by many a white male musician and absolutely obliterated by Christian youth groups across America. <laughs> All right. So now the question on everybody's mind, of course, is where the fuck did you find this song? <laughs> Sir, I have a two-year-old. This is a song that first came to me at one of Max's music classes, secular music classes, mind you, along with the songs about farm animals and the days of the week and how to find your goddamn belly button. There was this cute little song about a train. Now, you may have heard it in this form or maybe a slightly different melody, but we heard this train is bound for glory. This train is bound for glory. This train is bound for glory. Children get on board. No more weeping and a wailing. No more weeping and wailing. No more weeping and wailing. Children get on board. So, oh, bound for So this is like a post-mass infanticide song, <laughs> right? When you need a, a train to get all the dead babies. To, this is the song that Christians think the younglings heard when Anakin was done with them, right? <laughs> this is terrible. It's a song about Thomas the Tank Engine leaving Auschwitz. That's fun. <laughs> Good song for kids. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> it kind of is. I mean, I heard this and I was like, fucking dark, bro. <laughs> yeah. For one year olds and two year olds. OK, <laughs> so I looked it up and I learned that there are so many versions of this song, like the tree of life version of this throughout all of the lyrics, except for this train. And then changed it to Jesus has a place in heaven for me. What? Yeah, I know. Jesus has a place in heaven for me. Just over and over and over. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and there's another version where like they play the instruments in the left speaker and the voices in the right speaker. So the what? entire time you feel like you're going to rip your goddamn eyeballs out. <laughs> but then through it all, I was like, what's Mumford and Sons doing here? Oh, hey, Johnny Cash. Uh, what's up, what? Bob Marley? What? Like, Sorry, Bob Marley covers Bob this? Bob Marley covers this song. What? Until I got to the original version of the song, which is... That's so weird. I know, which is a lot darker than the fluff that you've heard so far. Sister Rosetta Thorpe, one of the grandmothers of rock and roll, wrote this song in 1939, and it was a vastly different tune. She talks about hustlers, gamblers, con men, masturbation. Really? Yes. You have to go watch her performance on YouTube. She plays with the audience and jokes and like heavily implies that her pianist is a masturbation addict, which is hilarious. She like, jokes with the audience. It's generally a great performance. And obviously the torrent of white men and Bob Marley, <laughs> who covered it after her, were trying to like get a little bit of that, like capture just the essence, a crumb of what she had. But don't worry, I uh, combed through the internet and finally, after hours of sifting through Coco Melon and Terry McMillan covers, I found the kids version that stays the truest to the original version of this song. God, our audience deserves a lot, Anna, but I don't think they deserve you. That sounds like, <laughs> that sounds fucking terrible. <laughs> I know. Here we have this train as performed by unnamed child with strange accent hired by christians.net and uploaded to the YouTube playlist Christian songs and videos. All right, so let's just dive into these lyrics. So over and over, and every verse will start with this train is bound for glory, this train three times, right? Yeah. So we'll just, we'll skip through that. So in the first verse, we get that and then it says, don't carry nothing but the righteous and the holy. This train is bound for glory, this train. Right. And it's at this point that we should point out that what the pattern of this, again, children's cartoon will be is the train <laughs> pulls up to the platform. So the door opens. A tiger who, by the way, shows no signs of being Jewish or Muslim, <laughs> doesn't get on the train. Well, I mean, proboscis. Just right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the tiger starts 
crying and then the doors close in his fucking face. Yes. This is the children's cartoon pattern. Honestly, this tiger, though, someone should tell Daniel Tiger that he has got a libel suit. Right. He yeah. could he could seriously win this case. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, but to be clear about the symbolism here, we're watching Daniel Tiger get condemned to hell for his various <laughs> trespasses. <laughs> exactly. Yep, sure are. Right? And we're going to see so many cartoon animals burn in hell. We are 29 seconds into the video. <laughs> okay, at this point, 29 seconds in, I'm just rooting for a bunch of Christian people to show up to this platform and then get mauled by a Jewish tiger <laughs> on the platform. <laughs> that would have been fun for me. Jiger. No. All right, so... So now we're going to hear about how this train don't carry no gamblers, this train. Right. It's a good thing there's no gambling in the Bible, am I right? (laughs) (laughs) But the visual we're going to get, this time the train pulls up and there's a monkey who's carrying his bags of money into the afterlife. Okay, I like to think the monkey is a commentary on NFTs. (laughs) (laughs) monkey. Mm Right, there you go. So the, the lyrics give us this train don't carry no gamblers and then it says liars, thieves, nor big shot ramblers. Sorry, okay. Big shot ramblers? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rambler means just person who likes to walk around like on the countryside. They have <laughs> preeminent big shots in their community? That's weird. Yeah. And they go to hell? For that. That's, that's they go to hell it. for that. <laughs> yes. And it wraps up by saying this train don't carry no gamblers, this train. Also, let's just be honest here. We've been doing this show for a while. With the amount of money bags this monkey has, he is definitely going to be allowed to ride on Christianity's train. (laughs) It is interesting to consider the reordering of priorities, though, over the last 80 years, right? Because it's hard to imagine this song written today starting with gamblers. (laughs) Yeah, I I like to think that after being rejected from the heaven train, the monkey went off with his winnings and became a patron of D&D Minus. Oh, there you go. One of the All fine right. shows of Puzzle of Thunderstorm. <laughs> so then we get the train pulls up at a hippo. The lyrics say, this train don't carry no liars, this train. Really, really disappointed that they didn't show us how the hippo was going to be depicted as a liar because <laughs> it's, it's just a normal hippo and he doesn't. Do, it feels hippo cyst, right? Yeah, right. It yeah. feels like, uh, you, know, <laughs> you know, you know what hippos are like. The hippo violation. Groucho Marx glasses. Yes. <laughs> Coming for a second sample at Costco. Oh, there you go. So, yeah. So it says this train don't carry no liars. She's streamlined and a midnight flyer. Really? They couldn't think of any rhymes with liars. <laughs> they just went back to describing the train. That's all they could do. Apparently, yeah. She'll take your eyes out with a needle nose plier. There you don't, go. There you don't go. drink the milk after the point of expire. Oh, okay. <laughs> this hippo will take your job and force you to retire. <laughs> okay. Right up there. <laughs> the late milk drinker going to hell would be less offensive than some of the messages they do here. Yeah. Right. Uh, through the ramblers. Yeah. And then it wraps up this train don't carry no liars this train and and I got to point out the unintentional commentary of the overbearing nature of Christian morality that exists here because there is no one on this fucking train. There's currently no there one on nobody. the train. Yeah. There will never be anyone. No one will be good enough for the heaven bound train. Yeah. It is as empty as the last train to Long Island. Yeah, this is, exactly. This is the good place problem. You just can't now. You can't. <laughs> you had, you know, Chick-fil-A or something and you're fucked. So, okay, and now we're going to get, audience, I'm not making this up to make this segment more interesting, a pig with a cane, a pipe, and a top hat, and the (laughs) lyrics are going to tell us, this train don't carry no smokers, this train. (laughs) You hear that, Noah? You do get to ride the train. (laughs) This is the the best pro-smoking argument I've heard since I quit. (laughs) Yeah, it doesn't carry no smokers. No two-bit liars. We already did liars. Come on, new shit. No small-time jokers. So you don't get to ride the plane after all. I guess not, yeah. yeah. They carry big-time jokers, potentially, though. Oh, okay. Okay. all right. Yeah, yeah sure. It's going to say. I just need to get into the bigger time. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, this pig is a little businessman. Yes. Yes, he's a little businessman pig. And all he wants to do is do a heckin' business. <laughs> and second of all, 
This lion ass train just made him late for his fucking ice cream social. And now he has to take an Uber <laughs> if he wants to get there before the raffle starts. So like, yes. Okay. Root. This pig is a delight, right? Like, how do you not <laughs> love this pig? He's got Bon Mo's. He's going to an ice cream social. He's got stories for you. You're like that. You, I blew Truman Capote at the Met Gala. Let me tell you, he sounds so interesting. <laughs> Fuck this train. Oink, oink, motherfucker. <laughs> I also have to point out at this point that I suspected that the plot of this cartoon is that the train pulls up. The singer of the song yells these insults out <laughs> at the people on the platform and then they drive away. It sort of has a, a drive by harassment. Yeah, there you go. Point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, OK, the things are about to get fucking weird, audience. I know you thought they were weird, but now we're going to get the train is going to pull up on a couple of panda bears wearing sunglasses with shotguns. Yep. Oh, they have weapons. They're going to have <laughs> armed with shotguns. And it says this train don't carry no con men. This train. Nobody expected firearms. <laughs> Incredibly <laughs> modern, realistic looking shotguns. Yes. They're also like, I, the only way I can describe it is like, do you ever see a cartoon of Psy, the Gungam style guy? They look like they belong in a Sorry. Gungam style music video. They have just World War One, And he's holding a shotgun. Yeah. Rifle. Yeah, it's very, very upsetting. <laughs> okay. Either way, if two pandas wearing sunglasses, carrying old timey shotguns, want to involve me in a ruse because they're con men, I'm on board. Right. Yeah. I want to be yeah. in on that. Yes, it's worth it for the fucking story. It's going to be so fun. We're yeah. going to blow Truman Capote. You got to have something to tell the businessman pig. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it feels a lot less con manny and a lot more funny gamesy. At this point, <laughs> but, you know. Well, I'm just thinking like, man, the train to hell is going to be fucking lit, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you think they were going for bamboozler with <laughs> oh, oh, bamboo. No, no one associated with this cartoon was that clever. No. I promise you. <laughs> Yeah, so it says, this train don't carry no con men, this train. No wheel dealers here and gone men. This train don't carry no con men, this train. Yeah, I just want to say that the fact that we haven't gotten an Ocean 16 starring these two stunning twins <laughs> is a crime. Yes. I would watch the shit out of that. It should be a miniseries. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Involve the pig? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Reacher right. Reacher season two. Right. Well, and speaking of characters that deserve their own miniseries, now we get a lion <laughs> who also has a shotgun. <laughs> also has a gun? <laughs> yeah. And it says this train don't carry no rustlers, this train. Again, an armed and I feel like this song has made some wild leaps from smokers and liars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So in my head at this point, this is when Kyle Rittenhouse shoots the lion in the face, strides onto the train and goes to heaven. Like that was, well, if they were being honest about modern American Christianity, that's what fucking happens right now. Yeah, in the original song, this verse is about the wankers. Really? And I was ex I was expecting a puppy to be on the thing, furiously humping a couch pillow. <laughs> I <laughs> so or just like staring at a couch pillow from across the room. <laughs> So it says, this train don't carry no rustlers, this train. Side streak walkers, two-bit hustlers, this train is bound for glory, this train. So what did the lion actually get caught doing, though, if he was lumped into the street walkers and yes, the hustlers? Like, right. He has a sheriff badge. Yeah. He has a little, like, <laughs> bandana and a sheriff's badge. Well, cowboy. So, and and then it ends, right? That's it. That's it. That's the whole thing. So I've got to admit that the animation left me with more questions than answers, really. <laughs> it made it so much crazier. Yeah, I so know. I know. Crazier. It's so fucking awesome. <laughs> I love this thing so much. I'm not going to show it to Max yet. No. This is worth a watch. It's like two minutes. Well, yeah, we'll have it linked on the show notes. <laughs> but so like I said, a lot of questions, a lot of questions. A lot of them are about pandas. But for most of my questions is how Anna fixed it. So Anna... How did you fix it? So this song is about Christian judgment at its heart, right? Mm -hmm. And the lyrics suck, but honestly, the tune slaps. So uh, I figured we needed a song about atheist judgment. It, it's about goddamn time. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess hit it. All aboard. Ooh. 
this is going to be a real humanist train. I want to see y'all get ready. This train ain't by their story, this train. Because you can flush it right down the lavatory on this train. Take your pendants, pears, and baguettes. Holy water and tinfoil hats. You're making the air smell like cow pats on this train. This train don't carry no boosters. This train. We all got our COVID boosters on this train. Crystal healing and Reiki do not work as well as a fucking flu shot. Take your homeopathy and do not get on this train. This train don't carry no Christians. This train. This train. No Muslims, Jews, or Mormon missions on this train. This train. No Hindus or evangelical Trumpers, Catholics, Buddhists, or Bible thumpers. No sister wives or handmade humpers on this train. This train. Oh, this train is just a realist. It's this train. This train. We don't want no conspiracy theorists on this train. This train. Take your pins and yarn out of their placement. Consider moving out of your mama's basement. No spreading lies. Without white replacements on this train. Ooh, ooh, almost there. This train is headed for the station. This train. Hope you had a good vacation on this train. Ain't it nice when no one tries to sell you fake medicine or try to tell you your whole family is going to hell on this train? Thank you, Anna. Now I'll have that stuck in my head for the rest of my natural life. Appreciate that. But honestly, it'll be worth it for the looks that I'll get from people when they realize which lyrics I'm singing under my breath to the tune of that children's Christian song. Anyway.